Welcome, 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 Graham fam. I am Cecil Holt, an admissions counselor and recruiter here at Graham State University. And I'm Timothy Stewart, a representative also and a co-host of this wonderful event. And we would like to thank you for tuning in to uh, Live After Five. Yes, yes, yes. We want to take this time to thank you all for tuning in to our Live After Five virtual open house. We are so thankful that you guys joined in with us. And after this quick, quick commercial, we'll take a look at some of our departments and get followed up by a campus tour. State University is the home of innovation, where influencers invest, where academics change the world, where we've been raising the bar for HBCUs on the field, in history, and in our community for more than a century. Join the next generation of world changers and innovation makers at a place where everybody is truly somebody. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. And now we'll take a look at some of our departments and followed up by our campus tour. Welcome to Grambling State University, and we're excited that you will be joining the Department of Kinesiology, Sports, and Leisure Studies. Located in the Frederick C. Hobbs Assembly Center, 2020 to 2021 marks the 70th anniversary of the department's existence in the College of Education. There are two undergraduate degree programs, a Bachelor of Science degree in Kinesiology with concentration in either health promotion, pedagogy, or sport management, and the Bachelor of Science degree program in Leisure Studies, the only certified leisure study program at a public university in Louisiana. With concentration in general recreation or therapeutic recreation, all KSLS majors are assigned a faculty advisor according to your selected degree program and concentration. The KSLS department also offers a Master of Science degree in Sports Administration at the graduate level. There are over 450 KSLS majors actively engaged in campus activities such as high school day, homecoming, and community volunteer service. Membership in the KSLS Majors Club and Phi Epsilon Kappa Professional Fraternity Incorporated. Local, state, regional, national, and international volunteer service opportunities are also available to KSLS majors. KSLS faculty also assist majors in national and global events, employment opportunities in the kinesiology, sport, and leisure studies industry include public health agencies, wellness centers, 
public and private schools, high school and collegiate athletics or professional sports, sports commissions, clinical settings in VA hospitals and medical centers, municipal, county or parish or state parks, and recreational departments, the gaming and resort hotel industry, and theme and or water parks. You've heard from the rest. Now come experience from the best. Two degree programs, five different concentrations, and over 450 majors. And if you're still undecided about a major or future career at GSU, come join us at the Department of Kinesiology, Sports, and Leisure Studies to help celebrate the department's 70th anniversary and see why we're still excited. The Chemistry Club at Gremlin State University encourages its members to prepare for careers in teaching, industry, research, medicine, dentistry, or graduate studies in chemistry and related fields of science. The Chemistry Club also seeks to foster cooperation and camaraderie through service and group participation. Hi, this is uh, Dr. Maidu Sitala, head of the Department of Mathematics and Physics. We offer BS in Mathematics and Physics. This is the first BS degree in the state that combines math and physics. We have four concentrations. The first one is core curriculum. This is mostly those who are interested in higher education. 
like PhDs in the math, medicine, and physics. And we have material science concentration. This is for those interested in industry jobs like manufacturing, nanoscience. We have biomedical sciences concentration. This one is for those who are preparing for medical schools and health related jobs. Lastly, we have actuarial science concentration. This is for those who are in financial institutions like insurance companies and banks. In fact, this BS in math and physics opens a gateway in various areas and you have a lot of opportunities. Our department is well known to get federal grants from Air Force, DOE, NASA, NSF and so on. So you will have a lot of scholarships and stipends available. Our students are involved in research. Through these grants, we obtained state-of-the-art facilities and students do research during our academic year and also during summer, they have internships. Here is our faculty and students taking the picture with International Space Station crew. Our research is highlighted on TV and also in newspapers. We have scientific societies like these organizations and clubs. They help for student interaction. And so I welcome you all to join our math and physics department. Please consider this mail. Thank you. The world needs more leaders. The Department of History is here to prepare you for careers in business, education, law, and public service. Classes on military history, African history, and the history of race in the U.S. and the world will engage you as you learn key skills and tools of the past you'll use in the jobs of the future. We offer bachelors in history, a law and society concentration, and a master's in social sciences with a concentration in history. In fact, the department has a four plus one program where you can earn both the bachelor's and master's in five years. What is unique about this department is our travel abroad trips that give students the chance to see history up close and in person. licensure program, we have the uh, RN to BSN program. In the graduate program, we have the options of family nurse practitioner, nurse educator, as well as a postmaster certificate for family nurse practitioner. This is a simulation lab where students can come in and practice their skills using a scenario-based uh, program. There are three beds in this simulation lab. We have uh, three high fidelity uh, mannequins. This is the interactive table room where students can pull up videos and review their skills. Students are able to work in small groups or to work alone. In our skills lab, we have an interactive area where we have 15 mannequins, both adult and geriatric, where students are able to come in here and learn of their nursing skills and get reinforcement from faculty about it helping enhance their skills. They're able to come in here and practice and be prepared for the clinical setting of the nursing program. We also have an interactive Pixis machine that is just like some of the medication um, 
Pixis's in the hospitals um, here in Northern Louisiana where we do our uh, clinicals. In our maternity and pediatric area, we have a high fidelity mannequin uh, named Lucena where students are able to receive real life, real life scenarios where Lucena is able to deliver birth in four different positions. They're able to look at the different type of complications that come along with uh, the maternity portion of their uh, curriculum here at Grandma's University School of Nursing. We also have a pediatric area uh, where we um, students look at uh, pediatrics from birth all the way until 18. Thank you for joining us for a tour of the School of Nursing at Grandin State University. Stay safe. Grambling State University, the place where everybody is somebody. As you consider attending a four-year institution, and as you contemplate a major within that institution, we ask that you consider majoring in sociology and or psychology. One may ask the question, what is sociology? Sociology is a study of human beings within a social context. It is a study of understanding society and how movements take place. Sociologists engage in asking critical questions about human functioning, analyze that information, and share that information for the betterment of society. One can be employed as a guidance counselor where they can earn from $34,000 to $96,000 a year. In human resources where they can earn $37,000 to $105,000 a year research analyst where they can earn from $34,000 to $123,000 a year. Media planning as well as being a lawyer. The idea here is to understand that sociology is a major that one can become employed in a variety of areas. Psychology is the study of human behavior, also the study of thought and mental processes. With this particular degree, one engages in the process of understanding how human beings function, how the mind works, and how people interact with the world around them. One can become a lawyer, a human resource specialist, a clinical or counseling psychologist, a school psychologist, an engineering psychologist, a media psychologist, or even a sports psychologist. There are a variety of areas within the field of psychology where one can earn between $34,000 a year to upwards of $200,000 a year. And it all depends on you. Consider sociology and or psychology for your major so that you can impact the world around you. I am Dr. Nicole Roebuck, Chair of the Music Department and Director of Bands at Grandma State University. Due to the COVID-19 crisis, the Grandma State University World Fame Tiger Marching Band will be holding auditions virtually. If you would like to become a member of the World Fame, please feel free to contact me at 318-497-9343 or roebuckn at gram.edu. That's R-O-E-B-U-C-K-N at gram.edu. Thank you, and I will see you soon at Grammy State University, the place where everybody is somebody. Yeah.
Welcome, 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 Grand Fam. I am Cecil Holt, an admissions counselor and recruiter here at Gramlin State University. And we're about to start our campus tour right here, where all of the business of Gramlin State University take place. Behind me is Long Jones Hall. Inside Long Jones Hall is the office of the president and student accounts, and also our cashier's window. Right here is Eddie G. Robinson Museum. This museum is solely dedicated to the life and legacy of Coach Eddie G. Robinson. During his time here, he amassed 400 victor over 400 victories and put over 200 players in the professional football leagues. Over here, we have financial aid or the building named Lee Hall. Inside this building, students can take care of all of their financial aid needs and also ask any scholarship uh, questions that they may have. And this is Gremlin Hall. Inside Gremlin Hall, you have the Office of Admissions, the Office of the Registrar, our main housing office, and the Office of Student Affairs. Now, I'm about to pass it over to another admissions counselor. I am Georgia Douglas, Director of Admissions here at the Grammar State University, and we are standing in the quad, one of the student hangout spots. In the quad, we have a number of different student activities, such as block parties, carnivals, battle of the Greek and non-Greek organizations, Greek and non-Greek straw-offs, and many other activities. And speaking of clubs and organizations, we have over 80 clubs and organizations, including the Divine Nine. So once you get here, make sure that you become involved. And we are proud to make you a part of our Grand Fam. See you later. <laughs> Hello, I'm Timothy, an admissions counselor and recruiter. And we're standing here at Brown Hall. This is a home of our first year experience, our student support services, and also University College. In this building, you'll have your computer labs and tutoring for you. Now I'll pass it to my colleague. Hello, I am Chastity Gant, Assistant Director of Processing here in the Office of Admissions. I am standing in front of Jacob T. Stewart. This building houses marketing, management, computer information system, and accounting. This building also houses our convenience store, our main computer lab, and career services. If you look behind me, you'll now see our digital library that is being built. It is the only one of its kind being built in the state of Louisiana. And now, I'll pass it to another admissions team member. Now I'm back in front of Carver Hall, home of our math and science courses. Most of our students will take their labs here. This building is also home of our newest programs, cybersecurity and cloud computing. Now I'm passing it over to another admissions team member. I'm back and I'm now standing here in our newly renovated Intramural Center. It includes a pool, a basketball and racquetball court, a fitness center, and an indoor track. I'll now pass it to my colleague. Let's go. Hello, my name is Amanda Sapp, Admissions Coordinator. We're currently in the Favar Student Union and this is the bookstore. This is where you'll purchase your textbook, you can rent them, and also purchase school supplies and also ground the paraphernalia. Now we're heading to the Tiger Den, and the Tiger Den is where you can relax, you can watch TV, um, you can study, um, just a quiet um, environment that the students love to just relax. And also here to my right, this is the bowling alley that's available to all students. And we look forward to having you here at Grandma State University. And now we will pass it along to another admissions counselor. Hey y'all, I'm back. And we are now standing in front of the Frederick C. Hobby Assembly Center. This building hosts our volleyball and basketball games, as well as homecoming and spring fest events, such as talent shows, comedy shows, and concerts. But most importantly, commencement is held in this building. So we look forward to you finishing your Grammar State University college matriculation in this building at graduation. And I'll pass it along now to another admissions rep. Hello, my name is Brittany Grayson. I'm the coordinator of new student transitions and orientation here at Grambling State University. I'm currently standing in the Conrad Hutchinson Performing Arts Center. This building houses the music department, the visual and performing arts department, as well as the theater department. It has a small theater utilized by the Floyd L. Sanders Theater Company, and it also has a small studio utilized by the Orquesas Dance Company. This building also houses the band hall for the world famed Tiger Marching Band. This band has been all over the country and have truly earned their notoriety. 
follow me outside. Hey guys, I'm back, and now I'm at the Eddie G. Robinson Memorial Stadium. This stadium is the home of the G-Men. And since halftime is game time, you know you can catch the world famed Tiger Marching Band and the ladies of the Orquisas Dance Company setting this field on fire. We hope to see you guys here in the fall to get this grand fam experience. What's going on, Future Tigers? I am Kenneth Ruffin, Assistant Director of Recruitment. Right now, I'm in the middle of Grambling State University's campus. Behind me, I have McCall Dining Hall, also known as the CAF. We're under the catering services of Sedexo Magic, which is Magic Johnson's Food Services. Cool part about our cafeteria, it is open 24 hours. So, them late nights, so you're studying, you need something to eat, we got you. Follow me over here real fast. So, directly across the street, we have Tiger Express, which is our food court. In our food court, we have Taco Bell, Pizza Hut, Chick-fil-A as well as Firehouse Subs. And we also have a Steak and Shake food truck that drives around campus. And there we also have a convenience store and a game room. So that's just a hangout spot for students to chill, watch TV in between classes. This is where you're gonna create all your memories. This is the yard, Grand Fam. This is where it all goes down. So we do have a hair and nail salon on campus. Uh, we do not have cosmetology, let me clear that up. But we do have licensed petitions on hand to take care of you. This is where you're gonna create all your lifelong memories. This is where we have a DJ come set up. You have all the clubs and organizations, the Greeks, the Strolos. This is just, this is where the magic happens. So we look forward to y'all joining the Grand Fam, getting this great experience. Let's go ahead and let's get this live. What is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. I'm Buddy Terja from Terja's Rentals. And I'm Greg Terja. Reliable equipment, quality service, and treating the customer fairly is why you, the community, has supported our family business for over the past 30 years. And we continue to expand our inventory to meet our community's needs. So if you haven't rented from Turner before, give us an opportunity to earn your business. This is not a dramatization or a pay testimonial. I'm Christian Creed, and let me tell you, car wrecks can wreck lives. As a former insurance adjuster and as a licensed accident investigator, I've handled hundreds of accident claims. If you or a loved one have been involved in a car accident, no matter how big or small, let me put my experience to work for you. Call Creed & Creed. We're serious attorneys for serious injuries. and exceptional customer service, your experience with us is sure to be like no other. Call or visit us today. Welcome back. Welcome back, Grand Fam. I am here with Dr. Shell Inslee. Um, can you give us your title for us today? I would love to. Uh, as he said, I'm Cheryl Inslee, Dr. Cheryl Inslee, and I serve as an associate professor and the interim department head for curriculum and instruction and developmental and higher ed studies. It's a pleasure to be here today, and I thank you all for inviting me. Awesome, awesome. So can you just give us a little background about what your program entitles and what is all offered in, in, in your program? Definitely. As I said, I have two departments there, but today we're going to really talk about the Department of Curriculum and Instruction. That's where candidates learn to be teachers. So we're really excited about that. We're really excited that uh, students come matriculate here at Gramlin State University and they leave and enter the workforce ready to be a teacher. So you talk about workforce and being ready to be a teacher. Um, there are so many career opportunities for students uh, outside of the curriculum and instruction program. So can you just give us a few of those career opportunities? 
Right. Well, there are lots of opportunities outside, but I want to talk about the uh, opportunities inside the curriculum and instruction department. Uh, you can go and be a teacher, and also uh, you leave here with your certification. Uh, if you like being with people, if you're a people person, you like people, and you never want to work a day in your life, then teaching is the field for you. Uh, the key is to do something that you love, and I'm sure you've heard that saying, that you'll never work a day in your life. So that's why uh, if you love people, you love teaching, uh, you can come and be a teacher get uh, your training here at Grambling State University, get lots of service and lots of field experience, and then leave here certified. Uh, the great thing about Grambling State University is when you come here, you're here where everybody is somebody, and we are really, really proud of the support that we give to our students uh, to enable them to pass the praxis, to matriculate and graduate on time, and go out and be a teacher. Uh, so we really encourage anyone, if you're not decided, or if you have decided, and you, you really want to think about your why. Why is it? What is going to make you get up and go to work every day? You love being with people, you want to make an impact, and you want to be a part of the profession that makes all other professions possible, then teaching is the career for you. You know, I, I've actually had some of my colleagues and some of the some of my classmates that I've graduated with say that the education department has actually overprepared them. Like they are so filled with so much knowledge from your department, and um, and I know that our alumni, as far as you know, the education department, I know our alumni is very very strong. So can you tell us some of the some of the places that our alumni are located now from your department and where they uh, ended up? Definitely. That is a great question because we do have quite a few alumnus and they are all in different places from superintendents to teachers and they're all important and making an impact. So we're very proud of our graduates. Uh, we have presidents of the United, of not the United States, we wish. Not yet. <laughs> no, not yet. Presidents of universities and uh, we are, they are really giving, making an impact and giving back. Uh, so we're proud of our alumnus and we I'll again invite you to become a part of a Grambling State University, the place where everyone is someone. Awesome, awesome. So we thank you so much for your time. Um, so right now we're actually going to take a one more commercial break and we'll be right back with you guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> what is Grambling? Grambling is growing. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. It's a community. Grambling is an education, an experience. Grambling is legacy, tradition, and the future. What is Grambling? Grambling is all of this and more. Grambling is the place where everybody is somebody. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are back here live after five virtual open house and Timothy's back with us. Ooh, yes, I'm excited to be back. Uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves. Uh, I certainly have been enjoying just the information that we have been gathering. We hope that we have said something that would allow you to uh, inquire more and come and be a part of the Graham fam. Uh, you know, we just heard some wonderful information about our education department and we're just excited uh, and we're hoping that you're going to be joining in with us. Awesome, awesome. So now we're about to take some uh, time to answer a few questions in our chat. So if you have a question in, uh, on YouTube, on our live, go ahead, drop it in the chat. We are excited to answer all of your questions today. 
Um, and we're going to start with the first question. The first question is, what are the minimum hours required for an incoming freshman? Oh, yeah. Um, so the minimum uh, requirement for you as an incoming freshman, if, if you're trying to uh, come in as a freshman, you want to have at least 12 hours. Uh, that's going to allow you to be a full-time student uh, to come in as an incoming freshman. So that's the minimum uh, uh, requirement for students. Yes, yeah. most of our classes are three credit hours. So three credit hours, 12 hours, four classes, that would equal four classes. Um, so you want to definitely make sure you have your full-time uh, credit hours. For sure. And, and, and it's important that uh, you guys know our basic requirements uh, as incoming fr freshmen uh, coming in from high school. Uh, the minimum requirement for GPA is a 2.0. Uh, we for the ACT and SAT for the fall we are still requiring uh, the SAT and ACT requirements for the fall uh, 2021 uh, for the ACT 18 in English or 19 on the math for the SAT we look at the math and the writing for the math you have to have at least a 510 on the English a 25 on the writing uh, portion um, so those are the minimum requirements there for in-state students you have to have at least 18 credit units uh, to be a part of the Graham family so uh, the requirements are really really simple um, our fall uh, we have waived the test uh, for the fall so we really really excited about that I'm, I'm sorry for the summer uh, we've waived the test scores for the summer session one and summer session two. So you want to elaborate a little bit on uh, how we've waived the test scores and what's expected for them? Yes, yeah, so students, uh, seniors that are interested in coming to Grambling State University, we have waived test scores for summer two. Summer one has started, so if you're interested in coming um, and starting, you don't meet our test score requirements or want, were unable to test due to COVID-19, uh, we, are, we have waived our test scores for summer too. So definitely reach out to your admissions counselor, reach out to our office so that you can get admitted today. Uh, the next question is, do you have to stay in dorms as a freshman? Do you have to stay in the dorms as a freshman? Yes, yes ma'am. Freshmen are required to stay in our dorms uh, throughout their freshman year up until they have at least 60 credit hours. Uh, students cannot move off campus until they have at least 60 credit hours. Uh, so you have to stay on campus as a freshman. Um, there, are certain, uh, there are certain situations where uh, some paperwork can be filled out to where you, know, you can move off campus before then. But as a freshman, um, you must stay on campus uh, up until you, know, you have 60 credit hours. And a lot of students like to inquire about the vehicle. Can they bring their vehicle for their freshman year? And yes, you can have a vehicle. Um, it's just a small parking uh, fee that you have to pay uh, each uh, school year. But students are allowed, freshmen are allowed to have their vehicles uh, their freshman year. So that's pretty awesome. Yes, those students, if you, will, if you would like to bring your car as a freshman, um, you just have to pay for a parking decal. It's only $14 per year from August to August. So that parking decal is valid all year. Um, and it is a small parking de uh, decal fee that, you know, most schools don't have. So uh, that is a very, very good option. Sure. Um, if we have any more questions, please fill our chat up with questions. We are trying to answer as many questions as possible for those that are on the chat. So uh, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it and drop those questions in there. For sure, for sure. Uh, one of the things that I, um, you know, we can kind of expound on is just the college experience and what to expect here at Grambling State University. Yes. Um, I mean, from the from the dorm experience, from the class experience, from uh, even the cafeteria. I mean, it's you're going to get the full experience on the campus. You know. That is so true. That is so true. Gremlin State is definitely a place where you'll get the full experience. You know, um, something that we say is that, you know, Gremlin not only teaches you uh, in the classroom, but it also teaches you how to apply what you're learning on outside the classroom. And so you learn a lot of different skills just about life coming to Gremlin State University. And so that's such a great thing. Um, we have some more questions in our chat. Uh, the next question is, can we choose our own roommates or can we choose our roommates? So can you elaborate a little bit about that? Yes. So uh, you can definitely use, uh, you know, choose your own roommate coming in. Uh, all you have to do is just connect to housing and they will, uh, you fill out the form and, f and the application uh, with the potential person that you want to, uh, you know, roommate with. And you are allowed to, yes, choose your roommate. So one thing I will say is choose wisely. <laughs> Yes, yes, definitely choose wisely. So as you're filling out the housing application, there is a portion of the form where you can put that roommate down as an option. Um, you definitely want to make sure that 
that roommate has already started their application or already completed their application because if they have to wait uh, for that roommate to, you know, fill the application out, then there may be a possibility that you guys will not be able to room together. Uh, rooms will not be held for students, you know, choosing their own roommates. So that's definitely one thing that you want to make sure that you get done together or at the same time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and I'll tell you, you know, our dorms, they're extremely nice. They're newly built dorms. Uh, even on our entire campus, you know, there's a lot of renovation, a lot of construction uh, that is taking place. And, you know, when there's new construction, that means that things are moving, things are vibrant. And so that's, that's something that, that, that you can expect when you come here is that, you know, things are being uh, built. We have our new digital library that's being built. Uh, we have our new intramural center, center that has just been completed. It involves a, a, a basketball court, a racquetball court, a, a swimming pool, and just a plethora of things that you will have at your fingertips uh, for you uh, while you're here. So that's something that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely a great thing. Um, we're in a state of transition. We're in a state of change. And, and right now, you know, some people only see the rubble. They only see the construction. But yeah. Um, on the other end of that is such, such, such so much more. Yeah. Um, so at this time, uh, we want to move into our giveaway portion. We want to move into our giveaway portion. So students, we have some questions for you. Uh, those that are watching, we have questions for you. So um, at this moment, uh, when we ask the question, you're gonna you're gonna text your answer to the number on the screen. The number on the screen is three one eight four eight zero nine eight five two. That's 318-480-9852. Um, you're going to text your answer. Also, you're going to text your name, your high school, and a mailing address and t-shirt size. Once again, that's your name, your high school, your mailing address, and t-shirt size. And we'll have your prize to you, whoever answers the question correctly for us. So you want to go ahead and, and start with our first question? Yes, sir. So the first question is, what is the name of our football stadium all right so grambling football stadium when you come to it what is the name of our football stadium there's an official name so that number is on the screen you guys go ahead text it with your answers make sure you include your name your high school your mailing address and your t-shirt size along with that answer sure what is the name of our football stadium the grambling state university football stadium what is the name of our football stadium yeah so those of you who have been watching the full show um, that was a hint that was given it you know in in there so if you were listening and engaged with us uh, that should be a simple 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 yes sir uh, answer there let's see here well, I think we may have some people that are already submitting their answers in oh all right all right all right we have Sierra from Texarkana that have um, actually submitted an answer. And oh, she got the answer right. So she, t she texts to us the Eddie Robinson Museum, uh, uh, stadium, sorry. And that is <laughs> correct. So thank you, Texas, your uh, t-shirt size and the name of your school. And we will have something to you. Along uh, with your mailing address, don't yeah, forget. Mailing address, and we'll have something to you ASAP. Yes, ma'am. So our next question our next question what is our newest academic program um, here at Gremlin State University what is our newest academic program here at Gremlin State University yeah. make sure you guys text that number on the screen with your answer yes we have over 25 different academic programs and um, our, our most recent program that we uh, have we just recently um, added a new program within the last year so we're really really excited about this so our newest program so those of you who are, that have been engaged with us and you have been following us um, here at the university you should be able to uh, uh, share that answer with us so looks like we have an answer right here uh, Rob Lowe from New Orleans uh, he says cybersecurity and that is correct that is correct okay. You got that one right. It's cybersecurity. Uh, we just have uh, included cybersecurity as our newest uh, academic program here on campus. So uh, make sure you include your name, your high school, your mailing address, and t-shirt size for us so we can get, our, get you your prize. Um, 
But that is it for us today. We are so grateful that you guys tuned in with us today on our Live After Five uh, virtual open house. Uh, be on the lookout for some more information and you can follow us um, on our new Facebook page, our Instagram page, and also um, Twitter. Twitter. Yes, Twitter. You want to elaborate more on our uh, social media? Yes, so uh, our Instagram, you can follow us on Graham Fam Recruit, really simple. And then also on our Facebook page, you can follow us on Grambling State University Office of Admissions. And so we want you to uh, definitely connect with us. We always uh, have information uh, accessible for you, uh, think upcoming events. Um, you know, we, we have some great things planned for the fall. So I'm really excited about what's to come to get you engaged and get you coming in, even juniors. Uh, definitely can come in and uh, stay connected with us. Um, also, also the Office of Admissions is actually putting on uh, a pull up and hop out uh, on the spot admissions event June 12th and June 16th. Uh, June 12th and June 16th. If you go to our social media platforms, you can see uh, the information more there. Uh, but just remember June 12th and June 16th. Come, come check us out. Come pull up on us and hop out and get admitted. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Um, and those of you, of course, who have not had an opportunity, uh, seniors and juniors, you can definitely apply. It's not too late to apply. You can go to our website at www.imgram.edu and fill out an application with us. Um, and, and we want you to join us for the summer sessions uh, two and also our fall session uh, 2021. So it's not too late. Fill out those applications. Let's get it going. We want to get you guys here. There's a lot of great things that are taking place here at Grambling State University. We are a huge family, and that's the thing that we want you guys to grasp the concept. You know, we have over 22 countries represented here. You know, we have a huge diversity of, um, of students here. And one thing that everybody can commonly say, and I know you can say this being from Florida, uh, that, you know, it's it's always a f huge family and everybody feels that warmth and that welcomeness when they get on camp on, on the campus you know? yes sir that's why we call each other grand fam and so um we want to thank you guys for tuning in with us once again uh, it's been a pleasure uh hosting this um along with my co-host mr stewart um and so if you have any questions if you have any 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 concerns if you want to reach out to us you can always email us at admissions at gram.edu uh, that's admissions at gram.edu or give us a call at 318-274-6182. 318-274-6182. Thank you guys and have a great evening.